Hello everyone, this is Afra from Quick WordPress website. In this video, we will see how to create a free contact us form using WP Forms Live. So the final form will be like this. It will have the full name with first name and last name and the email and mobile number. You can see it will be appear side by side with two columns. In the mobile number, you can say the default or starting value and it will have the drop down menu where the customers can select an item. And also the radio buttons the customers can select one of the item and also a satisfaction survey that is start from 0 to 10 and the default value will be the middle that is 5 and also the comment box on the last and it will be have a checkbox and also the google recapture to avoid the bot or the spammers to fill the form with that we will see how to customize the confirmation method and how to customize the email so without wasting time let's see how to create this beautiful form also we will see how to display this form in a wordpress default Gutenberg editor and elementor builder first go to the wordpress dashboard go to plugins click add new plugin here search for wp form so this is the wp form lights free version let's click install then click activate okay once you activate following page will appear so click create your first form so click let's go here you can see there are so many templates are available both those are free and pro so let's create this available template those are free so let's start with the simple contact form so you can use this template click here okay it's a simple contact form you can see the name email command message and the submit button so once you hover over you can see you can drag and drop here you can move top and bottom like this on the left side you can see add fields and field options these are the fields you can use i will explain each of them and the field option there you can edit the field option the first option already there is a name once you click you can add the name also like this i just delete this one so you have already have a name so once you click on that it will open the field option so here you can have the label as name you want you can add full name so it will automatically change here and the format is first and last name if you want simple like common one line you can put like this or else if you want middle name as well so first middle last like that you can have so let's have a first and last and if you want to add some description the description will not will not display in the form of the website but this description for your reference purpose so when you click advance then so that's one you can edit the field size this is the field is a medium size if you want a large size you can click you can see they are a large size and you can see the placeholders and the label these are the label if you can have the labels in the down or else you can have the label in inside so the inside the ones are the core placeholders so let's put this like that you can have inside the plate holder and here also like that you can have so no need of these ones so go down here you can hide the label so when you activate it you can hide this top label but that is needed but you can hide the sub labels so the sub labels have been gone and if you want to add some css classes you can add that is our advanced tutorial so in this tutorial we will explain the simple method of editing this form and then the smart logic that is a pro feature no need to worry about that for a moment this is how we edit the name field the second one we are going to see is the email so once you click email will be added we already added here so once you click there you can see the name is the email if you want to put the description that will not appear in the form it will for your reference purpose and i forgot to tell this red marks are the required field the required field the uh, customers has to be filled that field if not filled the form will not be submitted so those are required so full name and the emails are required but the enable email confirmation means the customers can type two times they may be first time they may be done an error so they can uh, confirm the email by typing another time so both ways you can enable so when you go to the advanced you can increase the field size as large and if you want to have a placeholder text inside here you can put or else you can leave it as it is so here you can restrict email addresses if you want to restrict some email addresses you can add hello list or deny list you can add some unordered email addresses to be denied and also the label you can enable or disable labels for oh, next is the text line like this when you click you can see this is the single text line when you click you can see this is the paragraph actually this paragraph line is the one we have used for the comment or message so you can delete this one so here once you click this item you can edit the label so if you don't want comment or message 
just delete this comment or you can keep as the message word and when you go to the advanced you can see the field size is a medium or you can keep a small one or you can keep a large so better to have a medium one if you need any placeholder you can type inside text or at no need and also you can put a length for example number of characters or number of words so maximum number of words you can set up so if you want to set up a, a 300 words you can set up the length and again you can add or hide the labels here okay those are the single line and paragraph text so let's come to the drop down once you click it will automatically add it here so when you click here you can edit this so this is a drop down so you can put a label for this like how do you hear us here you can give some switches like social media google search advertisement if you want to add another field click this plus icon and put like other if you want to have is the required one you can make a required or else just keep as non required one and when you go to the advanced you can see the classic style or the model style whatever style you can use so let's use the model style and the field is medium like that so if you want to move this one on the top of the message just drag and drop here you can next we'll see the multiple choice you can drag and drop here or just click so it will automatically add it here once you click here you can see the multiple choice so here you can give some other uh, question like preferred method of, of communication email call or sms third one like letter so if you want to use images you can use images here you can upload any image to these things so if you want you can do or else just ignore that and if you want to use icon for choices you can use some icon here you can upload any icons those kind of things you can do and if you want to make this as a required one you can click this one so this me a required one so let's come back the next one is the check boxes once you click here is a check box here what are we going to do is we we make it as a term and condition acceptance box so for that you can delete other two and keep that one and here you can put like accept terms and condition so this box can should click so uh you can remove this label so the, you can make it as a required field in the advanced you can hide the label so this label will be hidden so only the label display so if you want to show the terms and condition to be displayed you can click this enable display and it will appear here so for the moment we'll close this one and let's come back back to the field so we have added all these things and let's come to the numbers the numbers can be used for the mobile number so let's click so you can see the numbers when you click here you can see the same this is number so you can change as a mobile or telephone and if you need this required field you can click this required and the advanced you can put a placeholder test enter your mobile number with the card record like that you can put any placeholder or else you can put a different value for example i'm in uk so i can put a default value like this so the country code is already there and the customers can add the their mobile numbers local number in the advanced form of wp forms you can have the country to select but the free version there's no option to select countries so you can put as a default value like this and the customers can enter the other values if you are using an international form for the international customers you can put a placeholder telling please enter your mobile with the country code like that you can give okay, let's come to that field so number added that the name email already added and this number slider this is another feature recently added in the wp forms this number slider is actually for customer satisfaction survey so we can have a question like how do you satisfied with our service so here you can have the number to zero to ten but keep in mind don't put like this because when the customer if it is a not required field when the customers didn't put anything it will be counted as the zero value so default value anyway keep as the middle one so middle one is here five so keep the middle one so even though the customers are not put anything you can assume that they, the customer didn't tell anything or it's a middle number an increment is one so one by one the number will increase if you put two Two by two by two it will increase like that when you go to the advanced field the field size is medium and the value display is the value okay other important thing i have forgot to tell is you can have a uh, two items nearby near for, for example let's move this mobile number up here or go edit this email part and so let's disable this enable confirmation and the email part go to the advanced and click this css class and show layout in the layout we can select this one so what is that meaning is this column will be divided into two and in the first column this email part will appear similarly go down to the next part this mobile one show layouts and here you can select the second column so this so once you 
display this form in the website the email column will appear in the left side and the mobile column will appear on the right side like that you can do for others as well so let's come to the final part final part is the capture the capture is the security method that that avoids uh, bot emails or the spammers email so capture you have to activate through google so i'll show you how to do that click capture so here it will ask the capture settings have not been configured yet please complete the step in your wp form setting so click this and it will bring you to the wp form settings so the capture method there are several methods available so the command method is recapture so click that one so here you have to have the google recapture site key and the secret key so i'll show you how to get the site key and secret key so here search for recapture so the first one recapture about click that go down let's click this v3 admin console ask you to put the label so you can put any label so i can put my website name as yes and uh, the score base v3 is uh, invisible recapture so it will not shown in the form for the demonstration purpose i select this v2 it's a challenge one so here you can have a checkbox or recapture badge so i did have the checkbox so i'm selecting this one let's add the website name so i add my website name okay added my website name and click submit okay now it's create the side key and the secret key so select the side key so go back and here make sure the type is select correct type is selected so we have selected the checkbox recaps of version 2 in other types are there if you select other types click select that one so we have selected the recapture version 2 checkbox so put the side key here and let's copy the secret key and secret key here and save settings now the settings recapture version 2 have been saved so come back to your form so let's add the google recapture that will share uh, to tell google uh, checkbox version 2 recapture has been enabled for you this form don't forget to save this form so click ok and click save okay let's move to the setting so now we have done the general setting with the general form let's go to the notification so notification you can see the once the customer fill the form the notification will be sent to the admin email so if you want to change the email you can delete this part and you can put your email or else put a comma and put another email like contact at your website dot com like that you can put any other addresses and the subject line you will uh, give a subject line as the new entry with simple contact form if you want to put a, put a smart tag you can put a full name so what happened is when a customer put a new entry so it will give the form name as contact form with the field id name so customer's name will appear with the form so it will easy to identify who, who is sending your forms by by the subject topic and also others you can keep it as a default one and here is the alert saying that uh, the current email is from a does not match your website domain name so if your domain name is webias.com so i can create a website name like this so i have created another tutorial on how to create a business email address using gmail as a free so you can watch that video so this is how you can fill that other parts other things you can keep as a default one and confirmation here so when the customer fill the form they will get the following confirmation thanks for us uh, thanks for contacting us we will be in touch with you shortly this message appear once the customer submit the form if you want to change this uh, mess confirmation message you can type any text you want and confirmation type is a message so if you want the customer to show another page you can click a page and you can select any other pages to redirect or else if you want to go to url if you want to put some name like social media page when the customer submit the form it will redirect to the social media page like that you can do so for the simple of use just keep as the message for other features are pro features so these are the free features we have done all the settings so let's go and see how to display these forms in the website so there are two methods one you can do it in a wordpress default Gutenberg editor another one is the elementor page builder so i'll show you both ways so let's save this so let's check the form is where your form is saved here you can go to the wordpress dashboard click wp forms click all, all forms and here you can see the simple form we have created and the short code is here earlier days we had to copy the short code and paste here nowadays all the uh, page builders having inbuilt wp forms option so no need to copy you can directly put a widget there so 
So let's go to the web our website. We'll go here. So I click this contact page. The contact page having nothing here. So let's I'll show you how to put a contact form using the default WordPress Guttenberg editor. So click this edit page. So let's delete this one. We'll go here and delete. Okay. Now you can add a top heading here. A contact already heading is there. Or else you can put a heading by clicking this one. You can add a heading, but the heading is already there, so no need to do that. So if you want to edit the heading, you can add contact us. Okay. Now you can add a widget in the gutter by builder search for wp forms you can see when you click wp it will automatically appears the form so you can drag and drop so once you click that it will automatically put the wp forms so it will ask to select the form if you have multiple forms you have to select but we have only created a simple contact form so you can here you can see the full name is appear here and the email and the mobile are appearing as side by side as we have created a two column layout and how do we contact us is a drop down you can see the drop down Customers can select and the preferred method of communication is the radio button. And how do we satisfy this a satisfaction survey? Customers can select and contact message and terms and condition. And you can accept the term. If you want to use some background colors and those kind of things, you can edit page here and this kind of simple contact form. Color spec tone color if you and you can give some background color like this. And if you want to give some border color, you can give some borders. This border color and text are black. If you want to give different color, you can give different color to text. So better to have black one and label stays medium and colors for labels. You can change the colors of the labels. Any colors you can give like this and sub label colors. If you want, you can change the sub label colors near the message colors. So those kind of things you can do. So labels, let's put a color and like this you can have. So this is the contact us one we have created. Subheading color, submit color, so text color. Let's put as black. So like that you can put the color. Then you can update here. Let's refresh here. You can see the Google recapture is appearing here. I'm not a logo. I'm not a robo recapture is appearing here. Okay, let's see how to create a form in a element so go to your dashboard so go to pages add new page click edit with elementor continue elementor here so here you can search for a widget called heading so search for heading so you can add, in, add a heading widget so you can add the text called contact us okay let's add another widget so click here you can select the structure like this and here you can select a widget here search for wp forms so it will automatically display the WP forms. You can drag and drop here. So here you can select the forms. So our form is simple contact form. So you can select that one. So it will display your form. So you can edit the form by styling it. So go to style. So you can have the size medium or large and medium. And the border radius, you can increase or decrease the border radius like this, the rounded one. In the background, if you want, you can give a background color like this. Or else a lighter one, a lighter color. In the border, if you want to have a border color, you can give a border. And text, you can give any text inside this, the inside text color. So you can give any text color here. So label text, again, you can change the label color. So if you want to have a blue one, you can change it to blue for this color. Sub label. So if you want, you can put sub label color, add a message color. Also, button style, put in the down, you can see. So, button style, if you want to have a radius here, you can give a rounded shape. And background color, you can have blue or other colors. And text color, you can change. So, those kind of things, you can do it with the Elementor. And if you want to have this background color for to this form, again, you can go to the form section here. In the section, you can see the box shape here. You can style the background type or background color gradient or whatever type you can give some color for background you can give some color like this so you have so let's fill the form and see what's happening mobile one okay and how do we hear us drop down menu they can select google and preferred method of communication like email and satisfaction survey select this value and accept the terms and conditions and i am not available then click submit so once the customer submitted the, the following confirmation message will come let's go to our mail inbox you can see you'll get the message like this the, your website name my blog and here you can see the afrasia new entry simple contact form the form's name this is how we have set up the full name of the customer should appear so let's click this email and here you can see the full name email mobile those details are appearing like this. if you want to edit this template as more one go to the dashboard click plugins 
click install plugin and go to wp forms light click this setting here you can click this email so once you click you can see the template we have say, uh, selected is the classic one by default this classic template is selected if you want to have the details in a more compact way you can select compact way so just choose this one and save setting so let's try another email here you can see the leo das new entry you can see now it's appear as more compact way so like that you can edit this form this is how you can create a contact us form using wp forms free template so if you have any issues feel free to contact us please subscribe to our channel and keep in touch thank you Thank you.